So I think one of the main reasons we did the renovation of the house was to bring lots of light and space into the back of the house, as well as create a, an environment where we could have friends and family over as well. Um, we bought the house about 10 years ago. At the time, we had no kitchen. Um, we had a parlor and a fireplace. So we first of all put in an IKEA kitchen ourselves that lasted us for a good 10 years. But through all the DIY, we learned lots of the pros and cons and, and what would work for us as a, as a family in the house. So part of the design aesthetic was to have a semi-open space. So we have a dining space, a, a library space where Alec can work from home, as well as a kitchen area for entertaining. But we wanted the kitchen to be separated from the dining space. So we built a pony wall and that allows us to kind of hide all things like the dirty dishes when you're entertaining, but have a great space where we can all gather around, our friends can gather around for various different parties and events. The whole process itself took probably about two years. So from initial design phase to the build phase. So we worked a lot with our designers, our architects, uh, dwell being to establish like the best flow for the house that would work for us. Put a lot of effort into getting the flow right before we even broke ground. And then the build process took about six to seven months. Um, there were some delays with the windows and things like that due to adverse weather. I think it's typical of building during the winter. These things can happen, but um, Overall, end to end took about two years, I would say. So if I had some tips to give people starting out, I'd say, first of all, make sure you get the design right in the beginning. Figuring out the flow and how you're going to use the space is really important. The second tip I would have will be to have great communication with the people you're working with. So both with the architects and with the builders, we're really lucky we had that with Dwell being and with TP Construction, who we work with. So constant communication throughout the process really, really helped uh, make sure we were all happy and on the same page. The third one I'd say is be careful of your budget. It's an easy thing to say, easy to go over. I would plan, everyone says you need an extra five to 10%, I would say 10 to 15% because there's always gonna be unforeseen costs that you never plan on doing. And the other one I would say is details. So one big thing we walked through the entire house was electrical details. So every additional socket you put in the house is probably gonna cost you about 150 euros. You wanna make sure you make that decision early on, so there's no questions at the time. And having that level of detail thought out, as well as how you want every space to look and feel, is gonna be really helpful in the design and build process. So when it comes to actually installing things or choosing paint color, colors, there's no delay from your side in terms of the choices that you have to make. So during a lot of the process, you're under a lot of pressure. So that helps take away some of that pressure.